Monster Mayhem. It has five monsters included. We get to see one of them. We don't know what the other four monsters look like. I don't know what's inside of it or what looks inside of it. Um, but for four dollars, I thought, why not? Let's take a look at it on the back. Ooh. Oh, it looks like they have a couple different ones. We have the Mummy, uh, the Creepster Island, and Zombie Escape. I think we got... Who did we get? Uh, just by the skull, it looks like we have Creepster Island. Okay, so let's see what's Opened it up. Side. Came off the card pretty nice. Inside we have this little... Uh, opening up we have this. It just kind of shows us all our monsters. Okay. Here are the monsters behind a, what they call a blind pack. So pull it open and let's see what our little monsters look like. Oh, they're, they're kind of like rubber. We have some sort of skull guy. We have a Frankenstein. How about three snake heads? We have this guy. It's kind of like a dragon saying hello. And what appears to be, I'm guessing, a zombie or a rock monster. Or All right, let's look at these a little closer here. Uh, the paint will probably flake off at some point, but for $4, uh, it's not the worst. Yeah, you can see the paint will definitely, just moving it, you can see the paint has already almost fully chipped off of this guy. Let's hope that the paint is... Just acrylic based and not, um, let's hope there's no deadly paint in this. This probably won't be ch children safe here. Uh, and it looks like it'll do it for all of them. They're all going to chip off. I think underneath of it, though, it's just going to be this green plastic. So everybody will eventually turn green. You'll notice a little bit of a different background here. It's because this is a little update. As I was... Uh... Writing the review for the blog, I noticed that the red paint will, in fact, chip off these guys. The gray will also flake off, and you can see, I mean, just touching them, paint's just coming all off. So it will come off. The black, however, still does not come off. So black and the green is actually the mold. So uh, just a little heads up, if you are going to buy one of these, the paint does come off. But... Let's get to what everybody here is wondering about. We have our Skull Island here, whatever it is. There we go. After some scissors, uh, I was able to get it. So apparently you can pop this open. Ah, there we go. That was pretty neat. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Inside you got a big face. That is these big hands that come up. That one's a little stuck, but it came up eventually. Uh, okay, you've got this lizard with a tail. Uh, this this tail will come out as well fairly easy so a little bit of a choking hazard just a little update of things I noticed while I was writing the review. Spider I don't know if it does anything else. Okay we've got this little trap there. Now what is supposed to happen here? After reviewing all this, it's definitely cool. Uh, like I said, the paint chipping is really the only bad thing about this uh, this toy for four for under five bucks, four seventy four. This thing is worth it all day. The paint chipping and this tail coming out were the only negatives I could find. Uh, just a few seconds ago, you saw me push the button and everything came forward. I was only able to get it one time to do that. Every other time. These never pop up, so I don't know what I did to make it work. Uh, but, like I said, it's definitely very cool for under 5 bucks. Uh, on the back of the package, they show two more. Those are discontinued. I really can't find any place you could buy them. Uh, and there's apparently a fourth one that was shown on the app, but never released. You can find even more about this review and about the company stuff at the blog if you feel like reading it over.